To be honest with you, man, she's a bad thing. Finding thick as oh my god. That's my baby, Caroline, you divine. Hey guys, it's Sully Matt Stewart here with another video. Today we are going to be comparing Adidas versus Jordan. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so today we have the Ultra Boost and the Jordan 5. Now, I'm going to separate this video up into four different sections where I will be comparing the Jordan 5 and the Ultra Boost. The first section will be comfortability. The second section will be jumping or height or whatever. The third section will be style. The fourth section will be material quality. On foot first though, forgot about that. Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing our first section now. Comfortability. First shoe up, we have the Ultra Boost. So, 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 I would say 9.5 or 9 out of 10 for comfortability. But this top part will occasionally bug me just around here, especially when I first got them. It kind of felt like they were way too small on me, which I knew wasn't correct. Walking, it's like walking on air. Like, like this is a very comfortable shoe in my opinion, especially because it doesn't have like any leather or anything on the front or just around the shoe. It's just really soft material, and it's almost like wearing a sock, so you don't even really need a sock to wear these, and they'll still be very comfortable. Okay, guys, next shoe up for comfortability is the Gold Metallic Jordan 5s. Give these an 8 out of 10. They are not the most comfortable shoes, but there are these things in the back of the shoe, so these things that kind of pop out. That's, just, that's not just on the outside. That is also on. Okay, so like I was saying before, on the inside of the shoe, there's also this little, like, pouch thing that pops in. Also, uh, leather on the shoe doesn't really help. I know that they have this, like, airing thing on the inside, but for some reason I can still sort of feel it. But the the air bubble is makes it pretty comfortable so when i averaged everything out like i didn't actually use numbers in a calculator or whatever to average things out just like in my head i kind of thought about it and with all of the pros and cons of the comfortability in this shoe i would have to give it like an eight out of ten walking it's pretty comfortable again you can kind of feel this bump thing right there when you're walking so it doesn't really bother me that much the first section of comfortability the ultra boost take the win this is the style comparison between the adidas ultra boost and the gold metallic fives okay so first up we have the ultra boost uh, these look really nice. Now, it actually looks very clean. It has these, uh, not 3M, but just, like, reflective letters here that I really liked. Like, as I said in my last video. Links below to my last video. It's an Ultra Boost review, so these bad boys. With the white, the white Boost looks really nice on these. Uh, this, this is one thing that I don't exactly like, is this is called the Core Black Ultra Boost, I believe. And it kind of has what looks like a turquoise. I don't like having so many different colors on a shoe because it's hard to match with. So that kind of annoys me. I would give this Ultra Boost a, probably a, 8.5 out of 10. I know that you guys are going to say that's like kind of low for these, but I'm just not really feeling them. Also in the light, this looks purple, which is weird. Next shoe is the Gold Metallic 5. So this one's got an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to tell you this right now. These most likely won't beat them, but I have to look over them a little bit. Okay, so we have this mesh right here. This mesh would have been really dope if it was a clear color instead of this white. We got the Jordan sign on the back. Inside it says Air Jordan. And yeah, this shoe is pretty good. Uh, 
this shoe is pretty dope. I'm going to have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm actually going to rate it same as the Ultra Boost. These are size 8, by the way. Okay, guys, this is the fourth and last section of this video comparing the Adidas Ultra Boost or just Adidas in general to the Jordan Golden Telic 5s or just Jordan in general. So first up, we have the Ultra Boost. We have this Boost. This Boost is really dope like the base part of the shoe and this for quality is extremely nice it's super soft it's like wool socks or like thick socks but it's also soft on the inside and then on the inside we don't have those straps like what we said for the jordan and then we have but this part the so yeah the quality on that is really good that aglet it's uh, doing pretty good. Bottom, uh, this rubber that they use on the toe and just on the whole bottom, that is pretty nice. It gives me pretty good traction. Age, it's just plastic. Letters don't scratch off. Reflective silver, don't think you guys can see that, but whatever. Yeah, so for quality in this, I would have to give it a 9 out of 10. Next shoe, gold metallic 5, so I've already said that like a million times, but I'm going to say it again because I don't care. This has leather. Leather quality is pretty nice. The mesh, that's pretty nice too. Smooth, very smooth. This is working out pretty well for me, but I'm going to have to say that it's not the best, and I'm talking about the gold specs and stuff because I see people wearing these five and and this part and I see the paint flaking I don't want that to happen to me bottom we have the ice and the black I don't wear these too often and even then still this ice is starting to yellow which is a bad thing the tongue it's more it's really like puffy it's like soft uh laces these are okay laces are starting to yellow too the air bubble Ultra Boost don't have that, but they kind of make up for it with Boost. That is looking pretty nice. I have to give this for quality 9 out of 10.